This is going to be a video about uh, preparing your house for running on solar power and uh, some of the things that people overlook. Uh, I'm not really going to go into the systems too much. I'm going to show you how some of them work. And uh, I mainly go into the things that are important that people don't think about, like lighting. So this, uh, this video is not about uh, energy windows and insulation and things like that. Uh, just your simplistic things that you can run off some. One of the things I focus on with the solar is uh, lighting for using steps. You probably won't be able to see that above the garage door. And these are all 12-volt uh, uh, LEDs that run directly off the 12-volt uh, battery bank. So, uh, you know, everything's lit up for me. I mean, I can actually see where I'm going on the steps. And uh, we'll go in the house and uh, show you some of the lighting in there. These are also 12-volt. Uh, LEDs that string all the way around the shelf here in the, uh, I guess you'd call it the great room, even though it's small. And uh, these do dim down, and they actually get pretty bright. And then uh, over here above the bar, these are also 12-volt uh, LEDs. And uh, that's your most efficient way to run, is to uh, be able to go with uh, some lighting where you don't have to change your uh, voltages and things like that. But when the power goes out, uh, things don't change in here very much at all. And uh, I'll show you an example of that. So the only way that I know that the power went out, up here anyway, is if that blue light on the thermostat goes out and or that uh, controller for one of my inverters uh, that will switch to an amber light and let me know that the power is out. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the power off in here and I'll, I'll show you how things just don't change very much. So over here at my panel box, I've got a start and a stop for my generator, my diesel generator. And uh, I'm going to shut the power off and uh, get kind of an angle so you can kind of see the lighting and you can hear the refrigerator running. So now we're on battery and you can see a lot of things have not changed. Refrigerator's running, microwave's good to go. And like I said before, that thermostat's out. And that controller switched to an amber light, so now we're on battery power. So my lighting is basically set up in, uh, I call it three phases. The bare minimum, the least amount of power you can use. And I ended up replacing that uh, other LED I got, because that thing uh, wasn't worth it. Amp of power for that, wasn't worth it. But anyway, I can get around just fine. And uh, I'm using almost nothing. And I can get to the gun safe. Lights come on in there, and uh, it's kind of cool. It's all battery power. So you can see with these loads on, uh, we're pulling about 13.9 amps off the 24-volt uh, battery bank. And uh, not much at all off the 12-volt. Uh, There's only one refrigerator and one freezer on there. And the next phase would be able to light the world up a little better. And uh, so when we go to above the bench lighting, and these uh, fluorescents that are where these are only 9 watts piece. So now I could actually do some work. You can see it's a little bit brighter in here. And uh, the third phase would be the big fluorescents. And I have to fire the generator up for that. So another thing I meant to go into is the refrigerators. And your freezers. Um, you want to go to Energy Star if you plan on trying to run those off of solar at all. I mean... Uh, a refrigerator that's about 10 years old draws about 5 to 9 times more than a modern day Energy Star refrigerator. Now we'll switch over to phase 3 when uh, the solar can't keep up, you know, and you need to heat some water, run some water, uh, do things like cook on the stove, um, and you really need some power, you got to go to your generator. So uh, I'm going to fire that thing up, and then you're going to see the lighting in here change quite a bit. So we're going to do about a four second preheat, then I'm going to hit start, there we go. Now we're going to turn it on to generator power. Now you can see we're pretty lit up. Got lots of power and uh, the cool thing about this is my inverter over here will switch over to charging the battery bank and my 
12 volt uh, charger is going to come on and charge the uh, 12 volt bank at uh, about almost 45 amps. So this is where the generator plays its uh, biggest role, as I can uh, I can do laundry, both uh, washing and drying. I can run my uh, geothermal heat pump and uh, charge my batteries. And uh, right now we're charging it. This is 24 volts. We're charging it uh, 45 amps. It's dropping, you know, pretty quickly. And we're also doing the 12 volt battery bank. So uh, it's huge. I can charge my batteries back up, shut the thing right off, and uh, save a bunch of fuel. And this generator is quiet. It's almost dead silent, which is really nice. I'm uh, 20 feet away. I can't hear it at all. I had these lights shut off during the making of the video, and um, these things are really cool. It's just sort of like an emergency light. And uh, this is one that Yankee Prepper introduced me to way back in the day. These things are really cool too. The power goes out. Got a flashlight. You just pick it up. Sit it in the saddle. And the only time it'll light up is uh, when the power's out. So I guess the basis of this video is uh, you need to prepare your house first. Uh, you know, get it as energy efficient as possible. And then you can add your solar. And, um, you know, after you do that, then you separate out your designated circuits. And, uh, Put those on your inverters with automatic transfer switches. And, uh, and, and to be honest with you, I really have a tough time. I get lots and lots of questions and requests. And and uh, some of the questions I get, I just I find them impossible to answer. It's just really vague. Um, so, you know, I hope some of this information was helpful. And like I said before, uh, Energy Star refrigerators. Once you uh, get a big enough solar array to run those... Uh, that's the way to go and uh, microwaves that's the biggest bang for your buck as far as solar I'm not trying to put anybody out on the size of your systems it's just uh, I'm trying to share information on what you can do and uh, solar will not do as much as you think it will uh, you just gotta work with it and adapt so now I'm gonna come off the generator I'll shut my main power off and then I'm gonna stop the generator so I guess uh, the gist of this video is about getting your house as efficient as you can before you, uh, you know, try to uh, do your solar. Uh, you just get the biggest bang for your buck. And I had a question in my last video about, uh, you know, can I? I said that I can cook on solar. I can't do it on the stove, but I can plug one of those little single burner things into that receptacle and do it. And I can also make bread on the solar, and I can run a cock pot. But generally, I'd only do those things, uh, you know, if the sun was blaring and I'm making lots of power. Other than that, I'd conserve as much as I could. So anyway, I uh, hope this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time.